Spotify fam, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification. Class in session. The ever exciting lightweight contender William Zapata seeks to continue his rise to the top of the division by knocking off a tricky journeyman in Max Hughes. It's an uncommon southpaw versus southpaw close stands matchup and a clash of contrasting styles, so it should be interesting. Let's go over some quick points. Hughes utilizes a great deal of lateral movement in his style, and when he's in his bag, he turns that lateral movement into traps to catch his opponents off guard. The basic lateral trap involves stepping right, letting your opponent match your step, and then stepping in the other direction, setting your feet before he's able to match your footwork again, and attacking while his base is compromised. Specifically, Hughes likes to debate them to throw, and then beats them to the punch. Hughes is dedicated to keeping a tight high guard to a fault. The high guard forms the bedrock of Hughes' defense. Should all those fail, he will rely on the protection of the high guard to bail him out. But the weaknesses in the high guard are present regardless. The shields don't move, so one can punch around them or shoot down the middle. It's also trickier to control distance while you're fighting mainly out of a high guard. Since you take your lead hand out of play, there are no physical obstacles keeping your opponent from closing distance. It becomes much more important for Maxi to use his footwork and angles to conserve range. Upon occasion, Hughes can gain confidence in his abilities mid-range to inside and linger in 50-50s with his opponent. On these occasions, he will inexplicably stop controlling distance and oblige a firefight with his opponent. There, he abandons his trap setups on the outside in favor of his inactive high guard, a non-existent control game, and a severely underdeveloped clinch game. Simply put, he goes from decently skillful at his best range to rather unremarkable up close. Against this particular opponent, it would be the worst idea imaginable. When allowed into his preferred range, Zapata is a relentless volume puncher. He can double up, mix body head, use physical controls to set up his punches, and is able to cut off the ring properly. Most of the issues in Zapata's game, however, appear while he's trying to break in the range, beginning with a full step in jab mid range. The most counter punch in boxing for reasons subscribers are probably tired of hearing a jab with nothing else behind it while stepping into a range where your opponent has a full punch arsenal lying in wait is not the best idea. More often than not, Zapata won't level change properly when throwing a jab down to the body. A properly thrown stab jab should be done by level changing, i.e., bending at the knees, not hinging at the hips. It shouldn't, for example, look like you're picking up a penny. Cepeda opens himself up to a host of counters, particularly the overhand, should his opponent pick up on the flaw. Zapata has a tendency to utilize a front step shuffle to close distance on his opponents. Commonly done following a disengagement and then reset, he'll step with his front foot, then do a small hop forward as his weight comes onto that foot, landing first with his back foot as his lead foot trails forward. The issue is that he both breaks his base during the hop and becomes front foot heavy as he lands, all while coming in the punching range. If recognized and timed, Zapata's front foot pressure can be stifled and shut down temporarily until he resets his feet back in the stance. This should be another one of those fights where range dictates the winner. If the fight is mostly up close, Zapata either outworks or stops Maxi. But if Hughes is able to keep Zapata outside, he has a decent chance of outboxing him, but that's easier said than done. He'll need to fight the perfect fight for 12 rounds while staying highly disciplined against likely the most relentless pressure he's ever faced. And at the end of it all, there's a question of whether it will be enough to impress the Vegas judges. Let me know how you got it in the comments. Thanks for watching.